So I'm going to be comparing the Phantom 3 Advanced to the Phantom 3 Standard. When you look at them both, there's not a lot of difference. And to be quite honest, there ain't a lot of difference. Even the camera is very similar in spec. Um, the motors are slightly different. The weight weighs more than this one. Now, believe it or not, it weighs 64 grams more than this one. And the weight of this one is 1,216 grams. What I thought I'd also do is, now the batteries will work in both these drones. What I have noticed online now, I can't seem to get these, can't seem to get DJI batteries. You can get a lot of copy batteries and they sort of start around about 60 pound upwards. Uh, I believe these batteries at the time were 125 pound each. Um, they're quite heavy. The, the battery of this weighs 365 grams. Uh, and if you've got the Mini 2, which only weighs 249 grams, and it's actually got it on the drone uh, to remind you, but also to do with some flying regulations they've got in some countries. So it's a fair old size drone. It's a quite a heavy drone. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just not, I'm not going to compare this anymore. We're going to be talking more about this drone. But one thing I will show is the controller. This is the controller for the standard. Pretty basic. It, to me, it's a bit toy looking. You've only got one aerial, directional aerial thing. Um, you've got your switches on there. Um, but when you get the next step up, it's a lot more heavier. Um, and to me, it's a proper control. You've got a nice grip on it. Uh, you've got your two aerials. It's a GONAS uh, controller uh, for a video downlink. It's got a far better range. I believe it, the range is up between five or three kilometers whereas the standard was only a thousand meters if that really uh, and that's another reason why i bought the advanced mainly because i could get a better distance um, but other than that the camera uh 2.7k 2.7k um, 12 million pixel both uh 30 frames per second 23 minutes flight time i would say very similar to this one I think the main thing about this type of drone was you got a better lock with your GPS and GLONASS, whereas this was just GPS. Uh, and in some cases, you sometimes didn't get enough satellites to fly it properly, um, which was another bit of a pain, really. What I'm going to do later on, I'm going to go outside and we're going to test fly this drone because... Both these drones will fly on the DJI GO app. Um, obviously, I've been flying the standard with no problems, so I'm not expecting to get any problems with this. What you will notice with this drone, I'll mention it now, I've got some uh, prop supports, because unfortunately with this drone, I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but I, what happened, I was out one day, I think what it was mainly, I was, it was iron ore, it was an old disused mine, uh, the drone took off, no probs, and then suddenly I lost lost control. It, the screen blanked out. I tried to do return to home. I did everything I always knew was turn off the, the controller. But what had happened, I didn't know about it. The drone just took off. And thankfully, because I hadn't taken it off too high. This is another, something else, guys, when you're flying your drones for the first time and that. It don't go up so high. You don't need to. Anyway, it flew off and it went into a uh, side of a mountain. Uh, not, not, not too far away. It took another day to find it. Um, still couldn't understand what had gone on, but what it did do, obviously the two front props got smacked and then it was cracking. So I got some propeller supports there. But ever since then, I've had no problems with the drone. It's been a fantastic drone. I've had it since 2015. It's been amazing. Um, I mean, with this, you can get some really good footage. So hopefully, in the next section of this video, I'll show you what the performance is like with this drone. Um, it's a lot more steadier than the standard. You will, that's what I mean, you will notice a big difference between these two drones. So, let's go and do the next part of this. We're also releasing an advanced version. 
which comes loaded with all of the premium features we've already talked about, but comes equipped with a 1080p camera that records up to 60 frames per second, also capable of shooting 12 megapixel stills. The Phantom 3 makes both flying and recording from the air completely effortless. In no small order, the Phantom will revolutionize not just our creative space, but every creative space. There are limitless applications for the Phantom 3, and its sphere of influence is ever growing. We're entering a brave new world with aerial imaging, and the Phantom 3 is here to lead that expedition, to rediscover the world, and to give everyone the ability to make the most compelling images in their minds an inspired reality. So I'll come out to my location and we want to fly. It's a lovely sunny day. What could be better? Right, Fat and Free advanced. Not a lot of difference between the standard when it comes to checking it. Um, now, I'll, I don't know if I told you before, this drone did, I had a flyaway back in 2016, something like that. Uh, I managed to retrieve it, but unfortunately it smashed the cover on the lens. I haven't replaced it. There was some cracking on the front here. So I put up some prop supports there. Well, engine mount supports. And, and to be honest, ever since then, I've had never had a problem. As I always say, check your rubbers, your, your little um, pins there as well. Obviously check the camera, make sure you've got SD card in it. The props, battery, fully, you fully charge your battery up. The controller, obviously the controller is the big difference with the standard. Uh, one of the things you, you don't want to forget, guys, you're going to need a cable. Depending on what type of phone you got, make sure you get the right cable. Fully charge up the battery on here. Um, the only thing about, because I've had it for quite a long time now, what I have noticed is that the aerials don't don't stick up properly, but that doesn't make a lot of difference with the uh, distance and that. That's the main thing. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to just do a, a basic takeoff, really, an auto takeoff. Uh, and then in the next video, I'll be showing you some of the modes that you can do on the advanced. So, <laughs> let's see how it goes, because I haven't done this for at least over two years. So anything could happen, but it shouldn't do. I've got a lot of faith. We're using the DJI Go app. Yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> right, everything's on. So hopefully this is all gonna to go to plan. I'm gonna to go to the DJI Go app, which is there. Go straight in. I'm gonna ignore that. What I will do, guys, just go, I keep, I don't know why, my, my phone, I'm using an iPhone mini 12. It's pretty sensitive. Um, anyway, I'm gonna format the card. I always format my card every time I'm out. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna drop my controller down so you can see the drone when it takes off. So that's all done. Come out of that. Everything's looking good. Just take that off. Okay, it's ready to go. I've got 64 on the battery. So I do auto take off. Then this drone should have no problems because it's a couple of years now since I last used it. But the setup's the same as the standard with the auto take off. You just slide it across. The home point has been updated. Take off. Okay. Now, you can just about see that on the top of the screen there. That's pretty stable. It doesn't need calibrating. It's ready for its flight. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to test the, the video footage as well. Put that camera on. We'll just put that off there again. Lovely day for it. So, let's take it up. Off we go. I'm just going to drop my camera down a little bit more um, so you can see a little bit more on the screen there. Okay. Hopefully that's... Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Not going to see the controllers very well. 
uh, with the drone, to be honest. So anyway, let's take it up to about 100 feet. You can see it on the bottom of the screen there. Just, just gone over 102 feet. What well, I'm facing that track, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go down that track. Off we go. I'm going to use the gimbal just to drop the camera a little bit. Not bad for two years, is it, eh? Footage seems to be all right at the moment. Not, no picture breakup, as you can see at the moment. Uh, it's showing the distance. Okay, a little bit there. Okay, we'll stop it there. What I'm going to do now, guys, because this is only a, a test flight, I'm going to do the return to home. So the return to home is on the screen on the left-hand side. Return to home. And if you remember my stand, it's very similar to that. It's coming back. I'm just going to put up the gimbal. We've got the sun pretty bright. It's, no doubt it's going to affect the screen a bit. You'll probably get some flickering on the screen. This is where you can start to use your ND filters. So the drone's coming back. I've got it on 124 frames. Now that little red square that you can see on the screen, you can stop that whenever you want. So the drone's virtually above us now. I'm just Landing. gonna put it up. So there it is there. It's, see it's coming up there. You can cancel the, the land if you want. So it's coming in. And it's not too far off. I don't think it's going to land on my head. I'm just going to upright the camera. Upright the camera. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. No, it's not on the screen. But anyway, that's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Okay, so we'll just have a little chat. And it's test flight. That's not bad for two years since I last flew it. No problems. So I'm using the DJI Go app. Now the phone I'm using is the iPhone 12 mini. Great little phone. Now you can obviously use a tablet or an iPad, something like that to fly it. But because on the tab, on the controller, you've got that holder there for those, for a phone or a tablet. Now in the next video, I'll be showing you how to use the modes. Now the modes are a little, slightly little different because obviously the controller is, is different set up. There's a switch at the side. I'll show you some of the modes. Hope you enjoy these videos, guys. I mean, I, I, I enjoy the comments I'm getting from this. And, uh, yeah, fly safe, and uh, I'll catch you on the next vids.